Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to describe how acids react with metals. If you are a higher tier student, you should then be able to identify which chemicals are oxidised and which chemicals are reduced in terms of electrons. We're going to start by recapping acids. There are three acids that we use a lot in chemistry. These are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. I'm showing you the formula of each of these acids and this brings us to a key fact. All acids contain hydrogen. Now in a previous video we looked at the reactivity series for metals and I'm showing you that here. As you can see all of these metals are more reactive than hydrogen. That means that these metals can displace hydrogen from acids and we're going to look at that now. This shows the reaction between sulfuric acid and magnesium. As you can see the magnesium has displaced or pushed out the hydrogen from the sulfuric acid. So in this reaction we've made magnesium sulphate and hydrogen gas. Now scientists call substances such as magnesium sulphate a salt. So when acids react with metals we always make two products. These are a salt and hydrogen gas. So the question is how do we know which salt we'll produce? Well that depends on both the acid that we're using and the metal that we're reacting it with. So let's look at this now. The AQA specification says that you could be asked about how two acids react with metals and these are hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. Hydrochloric acid produces salts that end in the word chloride. Sulfuric acid produces salts that end in the word sulphate and you really need to learn these. For the exam you could be asked to describe how three different metals react with these two acids and these metals are magnesium, zinc and iron. So here's magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid. We're making the salt magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. And here we can see magnesium reacting with sulfuric acid to make the salt magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. Now magnesium reacts rapidly with acids and we can explain that by looking again at the reactivity series. Here it is. As you can see magnesium is quite a lot more reactive than hydrogen. This means that magnesium can easily displace hydrogen from acids. So if we now look at the symbol equations for these reactions we can see the magnesium displacing the hydrogen from the acids and making hydrogen gas. Here's zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. This is quite a rapid reaction and again we can see why by looking at the reactivity series. Zinc is more reactive than hydrogen so it can quite easily displace hydrogen from acids. Here's iron reacting with hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. This is a fairly slow reaction. Looking at the reactivity series we can see that although iron is more reactive than hydrogen it's only slightly more reactive which means that this will be a slow reaction. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the reactions of acids with metals in my revision workbook which you can get by clicking on the link above. In the next video we're going to look at the reactions of metals with acids in terms of oxidation and reduction. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how acids react with metals.